Good evening, everyone. We welcome all parishioners and visitors who are with us at this Mass, and tonight's, tonight's Mass intention is for Francis Luther. We have some announcements. We will have a second collection for the Catholic Campaign for Human Development this weekend, November 21st and 22nd. Thanksgiving Mass will be on Thursday, November 26th at 9 a.m., and the office will be closed on Thursday, November 26th, and Friday, November 27th. Please silence your electronic devices and stand as we begin the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you. Today we celebrate the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. Let us come moment in silence and ask God for mercy and pardon. I confess. I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and I have to my fault, to my fault, to my fault, to my fault. Therefore, I ask the blessing of your courage, of all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy and forgive us our sin and bring us to the last in life.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, never living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant we pray that whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty servant and ceaselessly proclaim your praise to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lived and drank with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I myself will look after and tend my sheep, as a shepherd tends his flock when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so I will tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The loss I will seek out, the strayed I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal, but the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats, the word of the Lord. the 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life. But each one in proper order, Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ, then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> when Jesus said, Jesus said to his disciple, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious thrones, and all the nations will be assembled before him. He will separate them one from another, at a shepherd separate the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those who on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. From the foundation of the wood, for I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink, a stranger, and you welcome me, naked, and you close me, ill, and you care for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, you gave me no food. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. A stranger, you gave me no welcome. Naked, you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked or ill in prison, and not minister to you to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did 
not do for one of these least ones you did not do for me. And this will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. <clears throat> the Gospel of the Lord. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, you welcomed me. Naked, you clothed me. Ill, you care for me in prison, and you visited me. What a powerful word from the king of the universe. Not only he spoke to his disciple back then, but he speak to every one of us in our daily life. I wonder how many of us here this evening Take time and reflect upon today's gospel, and especially on the solemnity of King Christ, the King of the universe. The Lord Jesus Christ, the King of the universe, unlike any other earthly king, he is the good shepherd the shepherd who willing to lay down his life for his sheep, the good shepherd seeking out for those who are lost, the good shepherd seeking out and invite those people who are lost to come back to return to God the Father. And yet when we think about the king, we always think about those sit on the thrown with the, all the power. Unlike the Lord Jesus, the king of the universe, he had the power, but the power that he had is the power of love. The power of compassion. The power of kindness. The power of gentleness the power to reach out to people to invite them back to his flock. How many us listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd? How many of us truly listen to the voice of Christ the King of the universe? When we listen to the voice, Christ the King of the universe, what does he try to tell us? When I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was naked, did you close me? When I was in prison, did you come and see me? When I would doubt and sad, were you there to comfort me? Christ the King telling us, when you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do it for me.
in the midst of uncertainty in our own life. In the midst of everything happening nowadays, we need to listen to the day gospel to be able to reach out to people with love, with compassion, with kindness, with gentleness, with caring. Be not afraid to reach out to our brothers and sisters who in need of our help. We can find all kinds of reasons nowadays not to reach out, but fear is not part of our daily life. We should, not, we should never allow fear to conquer our own life. Rather, let the power of love from the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of the universe, conquer our heart so that we be able to reach out to all our brothers and sisters who in need of our help. A couple days ago, I called one of our parishioners. She was celebrating her 102th birthday and unable to talk to her. So I talked to her daughter and the daughter just re <clears throat> respond to my phone call last night. I was surprised that she called me late last night and she said, Father Vincent, we were able to celebrate our mom's birthday, not only myself and my brother and his wife. And we have to keep social distance away. After <clears throat> we celebrate her birthday, She will quarantine again. The nursing home locked out again and no one able to visit her. And she told me the sad story here was she was unable to go to eat her mom room to help her mom since the last March until now. Here, the old lady, I mean, young lady, 102, <laughs> unable to be with her daughter. If it was my mom, strictly, that is strictly my personal opinion. If that lady was my mom, I took her back home. 102, very good life already. She doesn't need to be quarantined for that many months. What she does need is true love. The love from her family. The love that God gave it to her. The compassion the kindness, the gentleness, but not the fear that she had to live in that environment. And that's why the Good Shepherd always reach out to people with gentleness, with love, with compassion, with kindness, he always invites people to come to him. Do not be afraid. Why are we fear the unknown? And how can we not fear 
of the God who created everything in life. All the beautiful creation that he created us, create out there for us. He created every one of us in his image. It seems like it contradicts ourselves. We must not let the fear to conquer our life. Yet, we be cautious, but don't let fear to conquer our life. Rather, we must let God's love, God's compassion, God's kindness, God's gentleness to guide our daily life. And we must open our heart to let God come into our heart. And slowly, God take all the fear out of our heart so that we be able to reach out to our brothers and sisters as we reach out to our merciful God. Let us pray on this today, the solemnity of Christ the King. We ask the King of the universe, the King of true love, to heal our nation, to heal every one of us, to heal our family. Take away out all the fear that we encounter with and replace it with true love. When we live in God's love, there's nothing for us to be fear of, but rather be able to reach out to people as we reach out to the Lord Jesus himself. The Lord Jesus reminds us, when I was naked, you closed me. When I was hungry, you feed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was in isolation, you came and visited me. When I was lonely, you are there for me. That's the power of love. And that's what the Lord Jesus asked us to do, to be able to live in God's love, to be able to reach out to our family, and to be able to reach out to one another with love, with compassion, with kindness, with gentleness. May, the, may Christ, the King of the universe, rent our heart as we go forward to preach and proclaim the good news of the Lord Jesus, the good news of love. Don't be afraid to live in God's love. God bless you. I believe Lord Jesus Christ. He has said to heaven, 
and you sit right here in the God the Father. And it can do well. As we acknowledge Christ our Lord and King, let us offer these prayer and petitions to the Father in His name. We pray that the Church will be a worthy servant of the Gospel and direct the people of God toward the promised Kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That world leaders will govern justly and wisely and strive for true peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord that more men and women will generously accept the call to serve Christ and his church as priests, deacons, and religious brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord that all who are ill, especially Sherry Rohan, Mai Fung, Nga Freeman, Mary Maroney, Jim and Teresa Wanick, Joe Gallus, Andy and Chris Clark, Francis Breeze, Bob Stark, Denise E. Holtz, Scott Lynch, Sandra Aralano, Patricia Campbell, Andy Young, and Jim McNamara, that they trust in God's healing presence. We pray to the Lord. Amen. That our beloved dead may know the abundance of new life in God's heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Amen. And in silence, let us bring our own thoughts and intentions to God. We pray to the Lord. God of love, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayer of your church and grant us the grace to be ever faithful to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may be stored on all nations, the gift of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of blasphemy, and art eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross, at a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mystery of human redemption, and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, and with all the host and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, and without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this in my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, again giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is chalk my blood. The blood and you never lost in covenant will pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the passion of your Son, his water vessel rocks and the ascension to heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you a thanksgiving, this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the blessing of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostle and cross martyrs, and with all your saints on who constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advent the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Samuel, our Archbishop, the order of Bishop of the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of the family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O Most Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our deep hearted brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, keep kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory is honor yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the say of command and from the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your past of peace I leave you, my peace I keep you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are God the supper of the Lamb. At this time, we have second collection for the communication campaigns.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Heaven receive the fruit of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glory in, in obedience to the command of Christ, the King of the universe. We may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Trees have to come to mass. Okay, I, I, will, I will text you. Yeah. Okay.